Kay Topping, and I'm the Education Officer at Hazemere Educational Museum. Um, as part of the Funding Your Future campaign, I'm partnering with DFN Foundation and NSEF to tell you about what I do for a living, as well as offering encouragement for staying on your pathway to employment. My job title is Education Officer, and it means I'm responsible for the Education Department of the Museum. This means not only do I do all the school trips, but I also do sessions and activities for early years children, primary age children and teenagers, as well as um, family events and organising events and talks for adults. I sometimes also get involved in exhibitions, especially if they're aimed at children. Probably the um, largest part of my job is doing workshops for schools. As we have an Egyptian mummy here at the museum, um, the most common workshop I do is all about mummification. It's great fun as we have a dummy mummy who we use to demonstrate the steps of mummification and the children always seem to love pulling his insides out and then we put them into canopic jars. As well as Egyptians though I also do workshops on other subjects including toys, fossils, rocks, nature and local history. At the museum we have three galleries um, geology, natural history and human history and we also have a library and an archive so I can do workshops related to any of the things in the museum. Um, our early years events take place every other fortnight and usually have a story and a craft activity and often a visit to the galleries or the garden. It's really good to get the young, um, the young children involved at such an early age and hopefully they'll become lifelong lovers of the museum. Um, museum Explorers is our um, is sessions for five to eleven year olds and happens once a month on a Saturday and also during school holidays. Family events take place about once a month in school holidays and both family and events and museum explorers can be based around something in the galleries like our fossil collection, um, a national event like the anniversary of um, VE Day or an annual event like Halloween. Um, there's certain events we have quite often, like our Halloween events, um, our teddy bears picnic in the summer. Um, and we also have visits from um, a farm and a falconry company. So they're always great fun because because we have gardens at the museum, we can do outside stuff as well, which is really nice. HYPE, which stands for Hazeme Young People's Exhibition Team, um, is our teenage group. And we work on pro projects that usually end up culminating in a film or an exhibition and we tend to meet once a month or maybe more often in the holidays. In addition to this I also um, organise adult craft activities. We have a fantastic artist called Diana who comes and does craft activities for us and also um, adult talks and these are often done by um, volunteers who, um, of the museum who have special interests. At the moment, because we can't actually, um, nobody can go into the museum, I'm working on ensuring the museum has a digital presence. So this includes photos, videos and activities posted on the internet and social media. Um, it's something that I've only just started doing, so it's new to me and it's quite, um, it's quite exciting in a way to be able to explore new ways of engaging with people. Because that's what my job is about, engaging the museum and um, with our visitors and audience. One of the best parts of my job is seeing people get really excited about the objects in the museum. I like to think I can really inspire them to have a lifelong interest in history or nature or science or art. Um, and that's what I really love about my job is getting the um, people interested in our objects and then using that to maybe become um, gain a wider interest in the um, subjects. Um, it's especially satisfying for me when I see children achieve during a workshop when I know that they probably find school difficult but in a museum situation they can often achieve really well and that's really um, satisfying for me. One of the hardest parts of my job is working with people who have other specialised uh, specialities in museum but don't really understand education. Um, for example, using artefacts for education and conserving artefacts can often to be 
um, appear to be opposite viewpoints. And so this sometimes calls for tact and patience, and I don't think I'm particularly good at either. Luckily, I have some great colleagues, so um, we can work through any um, difficulties we have, um, different differences of opinion and things like that. Uh, that's, as I say, that's probably the hardest part of my job is just dealing with the, the, the politics of um, a working environment. And I'm sure that's the truth for any working envi um, environment that you um, belong to. I My very first job was um, working in a shop. I uh, When I was about 13, I um, filled shelves in the evening. Um, but I've also worked in a care home, um, in um, retail, um, counting money and making up wages, and also in early years um, uh, practices. Um, I applied for the post of education officer um, here at the museum when the museum first created the role, but at the time I didn't have a museum or teaching qualification. Um, I knew the person who got the role, she was a teacher of my children, and um, I actually volunteered here at the museum with her. And also I completed my master's degree in museum studies and my teaching degree. And then when she left, I reapplied and um, was lucky enough to be offered the job. And I've been here now 13 years. There's quite a lot of training for museum educators to make sure we keep up with changes in schools, such as um, changes to the curriculum. And there's also training on using objects for learning and ways of engaging with audiences. As education officer, I think it's really important to keep learning myself, so training is really important to me. I usually work 35 hours a week, but this can include Saturdays and evenings, so then I need to take that time off. So I might work six, week, um, six days one week and only four the following. So it's, um, it depends on what events and things I have going on at the time. I meet a lot of people through my work and having have some great colleagues who I've become friends with. Um, I also have made friends with freelancers such as um, artists and also lots of our visitors, um, especially the regular visitors I've become um, friends with. Working with children, um, there are very many funny moments, especially um, usually because of the way they react or because of something they say. One of the funniest moments um, for me was working on a World War One film with Hype um, when the person playing the role of officer just could not get his lines right. He kept mispronouncing a word um, and saying things in the wrong order and everybody ended up almost crying with laughter. Um, it was just one of those times you had to be there but it was hilarious. Um, if you're interested in working in a museum, my advice would be to try and volunteer in a museum as this will give you very useful experience. Lots of museums role, museum roles need quite high qualifications, but all museum ro roles need experience. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to always pursue your hopes and dreams, no matter what happens. And if you have any questions for future visit videos, please ask on Twitter, LinkedIn or Facebook book by using the hashtag finding your future and tagging DFN Foundation. Thank you.